Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a daily reading for you. It is timeless though, so whenever you find this message, it is, you know, the right time to hear it. I say daily because I try to post every single day, okay? Thank you so much for being here, for clicking on this video. Thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for incarnating as a Pisces. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, let's see what messages Spirit has for us today. If you would ever like to support the channel for free, you can like this video and subscribe. It means the world to me. And it really makes a difference. Spirit, please bring in the most accurate predictions, powerful confirmations, and best advice for Pisces. First card showing up here, the card of strength. So you're advised here, Pisces, to remember that spirit has your back. That you're not alone. That the things that seem so difficult can actually be very easy. When you remind yourself that you have infinite energy, that you have the infinite love of the universe behind you, protecting you, guiding you, and moving the pieces of the puzzle that we call life so you can navigate it in the way that you want. Also know that strength doesn't necessarily mean muscling through situations. It could be as graceful as a powerful shift in consciousness, okay? Strength comes from that faith, that certainty, that surrender to spirit. And the challenge right now, Eight of Swords is showing up. There may be a lot of insecurities bubbling to the surface, a lot of fears, okay? Things that maybe other people have told you about yourself, things that maybe you have sort of come to a conclusion about yourself, and all of these things are limiting. But this is a card of self-imposed limitation. Those limitations are there because you're allowing them to be there. These are not actual truths. It may sound true to your fear. It may make sense, you know, to that part of you that is insecure. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there is an obstacle, external obstacle, that is um, refraining you from being able to do something. These are limitations that are in your mind. These are almost walls that you have built that you yourself can tear down easily too it's all about the mindset and there may be a lot of beliefs here telling you that you're not strong enough that you're not capable that you're not beautiful that you're not handsome or strong or smart but all of these are just opinions fear-based opinions they're not a fact. And you should not let yourself be stopped by something so... So... Fickle, almost. In the recent past... We have the Ace of Pentacles, so a brand new beginning here. Something important has started. It could be a brand new beginning that is leading you to a lot of financial success, to expansion, fame, fortune is what I'm hearing. And some of you in the present moment are tapping into that strength of yours to allow this in. But all of this beauty and all of this power that is showing up in your life may make you feel like you're not good enough for it or like you are not going to be able to um, sustain it. In your mind space, you have the Three of Wands. This is something that you have already wanted, asked for, and waited for. It seems like in your mind you're still waiting for that something to arrive. And by something, I mean maybe 
a lifestyle that you want to have, a paycheck, a job, a title. Um, maybe this is something about a money. I don't know. But like in your mind, you have been very, very patient. And it seems like spirit is bringing you here exactly what you want. And you may be freaking out a little bit about it, okay? So this is a, the kind of fear that shows up when you've always wanted to get married and you've always always had that as a dream and all of a sudden everything is working out and you're getting married and you're like oh my god it's happening it's happening you know and <laughs> it's kind of like that awareness of having wanted something for so long that it puts almost some pressure on it and on yourself to make sure that it works that's kind of like the fear that i'm getting the the insecurities popping up Okay, these are all a lot of cards. Oh, just three. Okay. But the universe wants you to know you've got the chariot, the sun, and the devil. Wow, three major arcanas here. Powerful ones. So, what the universe wants you to know is that you deserve all the happiness, joy, good health, expansion, everything good. You deserve it. You've got the sun here, okay? You've earned it. Just for being alive, you deserve it. Just because God loves you, you know, he wants you to have it. And what I mean, he, you know, you know what I mean, okay? Chariot, you are making progress. This is happening, you guys. It's happening for you, what you've wanted, what you've dreamt of. And then the devil shows up here, okay? The insecurity, the fear, the temptation, the sabotage. Just know that um, it almost seems like the more progress you make, it's like new level, new devil, right? It's like you rise up a level in your finances and there's a new thing that you need to solve or figure out, right? A, a problem, perhaps. The same goes for love. It's like new level, new circumstances, new dynamics, something changes, you know, and it's, it's about adaptation. So when those fears show up, Pisces, when those insecurities come, Telling you that, oh my god, you know, all these good things, do I deserve them? Can I honor them? Will I be able to keep them? When that shows up, just tell yourself, everything is figure outable. Everything is figure outable. You're going to figure it out. Okay? You are going to figure it out because you deserve this. You deserve this happiness and you have put in a lot of effort. Lots of momentum here. To get you where you want to go. Okay? Good vibes only. And you know that I'm not a good vibes only kind of person. <laughs> you know, life is not good vibes only. But in this case, they're kind of telling you, like, just take the good, you know? In the near future, look at that. Queen of Swords. You being completely centered in your power, strong as fuck, <laughs> Pisces as fuck. If you ever want to support the channel, you can do so with this. <laughs> um, and the little thing says, live in the moment. Vive el momento. You being very strong, firm, sitting in your throne, knowing your worth, being wise and beautiful, strong, fearless that's what what well, that's what's coming in the near future for you okay so don't don't be afraid of these fears they will be figured out by you and you're going to be able to shine really brightly here you're going to get what you want and you're going to be able to enjoy it you're going to be able to take care of it you're going to be able to own it okay like a boss like a boss pisces don't fear. You've got this. Spirits, spirit has got you and you've got this, okay? Your energy is showing up as the page of pentacles. Yeah, you're building your confidence here, Pisces, okay? You're building your confidence in regards to this maybe new beginning, um, these, you know, new beginnings in the physical realm, abundance, prosperity, property, things like that. You're building your confidence. You're 
getting to know your power too. In your environment, things may show up a little slower than you would like, okay? You may be patiently waiting for something to be confirmed, waiting for a specific time of the year, waiting for a confirmation, an email, money, I don't know. Um, but in your environment, things do seem to be a little bit like in a pause, but that's actually going to serve you is what I'm hearing. Your hopes and fears, you've got the Three of Cups, okay? So, celebration. Some of you really want to celebrate something, but you feel like you shouldn't until it's completely confirmed. Others of you um, are afraid of celebrating because you feel like if you celebrate, you're gonna sort of like jinx it. This could also mean, um, this is an advice to keep things to yourself, Pisces, okay? Um, don't comment your desires your goals your pursuits with other people right now because that can dilute the energy they can kind of like gossip about it talk about it and it may start to sort of sabotage the the whole thing a little oh my goodness look at this outcome card could this be any better pisces ten of cups I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. This is the card within the tarot that represents the highest form of happiness. Emotional fulfillment, okay? Feeling complete, feeling joyful, proud, grateful, honored, you know, celebratory, loving, loved. <laughs> it's just such a beautiful, beautiful card to have, especially as the outcome of this, okay? So know that everything is going to be okay, okay? Everything is already okay. Even if your mind wants to convince you otherwise and tell you that there's so many things to worry about, Spirit is telling you here, look at this, the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Spirit is telling you here, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Everything is exactly as it's meant to be and it is aligned with that goal that you want to manifest. The Sun and the Ten of Cups, you guys. Good health, good luck, joy, happiness. All the beautiful things that anyone would love to experience in this lifetime are here for you. So enjoy them, Pisces, okay? Enjoy them and trust the process. Everything is figure outable. If there's something that you don't know along the way, don't worry about it. The answer will come. You are resourceful. And sometimes it's not about the resources. It's about the resourcefulness. Okay? All of these are quotes by Mary Forleo, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, my loves. Everything is good. More than good. Everything is going to be amazing. I love you to the moon and back, Pisces. If at any point you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, I would love to meet you. I would love to... Um, do these manifestation sessions that I'm offering with you, get to know you, hear your story. You know, these are 45 minute sessions on Zoom and I get to pretty much learn all about the things you want to manifest, see if there's anything I can do to maybe unblock any energy blockages that may be, you know, stopping this from happening in whatever way um, you're wanting it to. Of course, within divine will and grace. And, um, you know, together we can work on different manifestation techniques and use herbs and oils and crystals and candles and all things um, witchy and woo-woo <laughs> to make your manifestations come to life. Not that you need it, because it seems here like everything is pointing in that direction. But they are a beautiful, beautiful thing to experience you know and, and talk about and you know if it resonates for you then it is for you simple as that in the description box below you're gonna find the link i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye pisces